So next up, the, the second king of Italy for you uh, today. Moving on to is uh, an Amarone. Now, Amarone is known for producing huge, huge, big wines. It, we, we talk about body. I mean, Amarone, yeah, very full-bodied, high alcohol levels. And this is because of the, the production method in Amarone. What they do is they, they dry out some of the grapes on straw huts. It's called a ripasso method. And the, the grapes then become ultra-concentrated with sugars, which then, when fermented, means slightly higher alcohol. So what does that mean for the, for the flavor of the wine? I mean, I'm expecting um, that to relay into spicy flavors in the wine, high alcohol spice spice go, go hand in hand. This wine is from a producer I haven't tried before, Brolo uh, de Gusti. Uh, the head winemaker here is Stefano Casilli. And he's, um, uh, when, since he's come into the winery, he's tried to reduce the use of weed killers and put in more organic measures. The winery is now um, certified as sustainable officially in Italian law. So yeah, let's give this a go. It's 2011, good Amarone. It needs a bit of time to sell down. When you've got wine with such high alcohol, uh, it, it generally means it's got good aging potential. It also needs a little bit of time for, for that to really settle down in the glass. Um, I, I've just opened these wines, by the way. I haven't decanted them at all. I'm gonna give you a recommendation on how long to decant them for, but I like to taste straight out of the bottle to get a really good representation of what, what each wine is when it leaves the bottle. Mm. Wow, um, superb, uh, re really a lot, of, a lot of fruit character, again, packed into this wine. I'm getting um, really interesting flavors on the palate, actually. Um, there's, there's a lot of that cocoa and actually less spice than I thought, which is an incredibly uh, good sign of a well-made wine because this wine is 16%. And when you can't pick up that it's 16%, that shows it's been really nicely balanced. I'm gonna go back in and, and test the, the, the tannin of the wine. You know what, it's really, really ultra drinkable. It's uh, medium tannin, I'd say. Uh, medium to low, in fact. It's really not as much tannin as I was expecting, but uh, those fruit flavors scream out, and the flavors of chocolate and coffee. Um, yeah, mocha, really present in this wine. Uh, I'm, I'm really impressed with that for an Amarone 2011. Um, I'm, I'm going to score that um, up at 8.1. Really, really delicious Amarone from De Gusti. So I uh, picked a cheese from, from Mousetraps, I said earlier on, to, to, to go alongside this. So this is Brock Blue. It's a, it's a goat's milk blue cheese from Preston. So I, I haven't tried this either. I'm actually quite, quite interested to try the cheese. So I go straight in. It's definitely a goat's blue. I mean, I'm gonna taste that, that wonderful flavor of goat's cheese. And really, really salty kind of penicillin quality from that, that blue cheese. That's why I picked it. I hope it'll go along nicely with the Amarone because the Amarone's got a little, little touch of um, sweetness in the background. So I think that could balance well, we'll find out. Amazing. The, uh, the, the, the penicillin, uh, the sort of real blue saltiness, the, the moldiness comes out um, yeah, to another level when you, when you drink it with the Amarone. Oh uh, yeah, really, really lovely pairing. That's up at um, 75% pairing for me.